I met a viewer today. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Today's video is kind of a continuation of my bookmark rant. I met a viewer and they actually genuinely interested in the rant and me. It was a great change of pace. Okay, when it comes to writing erotica, I already knew some, some of what I was going to be going through because I looked up how to write erotica. You know, I looked up what to expect, how to do it, every, every piece of it. I researched for like two years before I even put pen to paper. And a lot of the feedback was terrible. <laughs> like you, you should know that you're gonna get, you possibly could get disowned from your family. You could get fired. You could get a whole bunch of a host of things just from writing it. I haven't even published yet. I'm starting to see the uh, kickback. That's one of the things I was researching when I was, if you watched my Twitter, I said that I had been checking to see how long it would take for something to happen online to happen in real life. Didn't take long. I need a lot of fake skin. Um, Cause another thing, majority of erotica writers can't write under their own name. That's why I started G Sean Maverick using my cartoon character. You can't write under your own name because of the amount of backlash you get there's only a few who can ever write under their name and is it really difficult for them to write under it i mean some people just don't leave the house i did still leave the house under my choice even though i do leave the house sometimes actually majority of the time i'm noticing a lot of things uh like i mean i met this viewer and it was nice it was friendly it was electrical it was nice Unlike normal interactions with people, uh, whenever I go anywhere, there's always whispers. I, I try to ignore those, but there's whispers there. And there's even um, there's even the reason I stopped going to my uh, flower company. There was I used to get bouquets of flowers from my you know significant other, and they yeah they just uh, don't like me. So I stopped using them and went to another company that uh, isn't so mean. Uh, also, there's no sly or underhanded comments when we were talking. You know, like some people will watch my videos and then you'll hear them later on uh, comment about something I've said in a video or something about my life that I haven't told them in any way, shape, or form. But like I said, if you tell a secret to one person, you really tell two. But jeez, it goes around like fire everywhere. Work, grocery stores, everywhere. I get a, I get a lot of uh, backlash. With him, like I said, it was just, it was just normal conversation. I haven't had that in, since the page was made. Uh, <laughs> since, since the start of G-Shot Maverick. I hadn't even published yet. Because usually I end up getting some sort of manipulation happening. Uh, you just subtly try to manipulate me into doing or saying whatever they want. I don't know. They have some use for it. It was great to finally talk to someone and it not be me checking to see if somebody's got a knife <laughs> to stab me. You know? so it, was, it was great. Oh, another thing, like I said, it, I'm writing erotica in the Bible Belt, which is even worse I'm guessing because it's just, one of the, the things that happened, like once I started the page, I came back from a break at work and was about to drink out of my drink. And somebody, I'm guessing they didn't like me, and they shot a, you know, into my drink. Just, uh, oh, anyway. That brings me to my next point. Uh, when we were talking, he was telling me like about how he was feeling stagnant and dark. And I was like, that's the fun part. Because in my bookmark uh, rant, you saw, I said, while I was 
going on and on and on like that. At the bottom, it said, uh, that's the fun part, because that is the fun part of being a writer. The fun part is hitting the wall and finding a way out. Hitting the wall, finding a way out. Hitting the wall, finding a way out. I mean, why else would you play a maze game, you know? There's a maze. Why do you play Dark Souls? I mean, if Dark Souls got hard and you quit, I mean, you never be the game. I mean, you wouldn't have started. I think the start menu is hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, like I said, we, while we were talking about him being uh, stagnant, he was genuinely, genuinely interested in talking and conversating with me. And it was just a lot of weight off my shoulders. I didn't feel so scared anymore just to walk out the door. But anyway, back to my bookmark rant. Uh, the reason I decided to start posting rants in the first place, because, you know, I mean, from like I said, at work, you see people talk about how when they get on social media, all they do is post their dirty laundry. It's, it wasn't that. It was from a pastor that I was watching. He's, his name was uh, T.D. Jakes. It's T.D. Jakes. And he said, sometimes you don't have anything to show for your journey but pain. So just show them the pain so that it will be a lesson for them in their life. And that's my bookmark rant. And so, you know, I'm just showing a lesson through pain. You know? Yeah, um, I'm writing erotica. The reason I started writing erotica was to bring romance back to erotica. Because I was researching and seeing this author and that author and reading their work and, I'm, and a lot of them were bestsellers. And uh, when I was reading their work, I was like, dang, gum, this is dark. I wanted to bring the romance back to the erotica. And while I was reading them, I was single at the time, reading the erotica. So I was like, is this really what women want? Is this really what they like? That explains why I'm single. <laughs> it was like, because I am not that type of guy. I can't, I can't do all that. That was in their books. But anyway, that's what brings us to my next point, the musings. You've noticed that I've been posting musings, right? That's how the um, majority of the main characters, the male, the male characters in my book, that's how they talk to the women in the book. Instead of, you know, this, this toxic culture that's coming out lately. And I'm like, wow. I guess I'm a relic in that way. I don't like, you know, disrespecting women sometimes like that, you know, at all. <laughs> that's what they like, and it's, I just can't, I can't get down with that. So, and that's what I'm doing with my erotica. I need, to, as uh, another quote that I, I have is, um, be the change you want to see in the world. And so I'm writing this erotica to be that change, because I'm done with that. And that's what I'm thinking I'm running into on Fiverr. I think that's the, the contingency that I'm running into because they're like, oh, he's writing erotica. I do not want to be verbally and visually abused. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying not to. <laughs> but it's okay if they don't want to give me a chance because I will find someone else. We're going to get this book out and I'm going to change how this genre is seen. Hopefully, I mean, there's other authors who are doing the same, but I don't think they're becoming bestsellers. But still, I hope for them that they do also get in there and change erotica back and bring a little romance back to it, a little, you know, affection back to it. Since I'm writing erotica, because you see, my name is for a children's book, so I don't even write a children's book first. No, I decided to write erotica first because I was realizing from this whole experience, everybody ain't your friend. Even your friends ain't your friends. <laughs> they stop being your friends as soon as you put that pen to paper. So I'm noticing as I'm making these networking decisions and networking with these people that I want to be surrounded by people who want to see me succeed while I'm writing erotica. I don't want to be around you when I'm writing my children's book and I give it to you and you took a step on me when I wrote an erotica book. You swung at me when I wrote an erotica book. You put a booger in my drink when I wrote an erotica. No. <laughs> So I don't want to deal with those people and it's as I was telling him it's the fun part you find out who you can trust so once again with when I found that this viewer came up to me I was realized that not everyone is a hater not everyone is out to get you and not everyone wants to see you fail there's a lot but there's not everyone 
And that brings me to my garden. Um, for those of you who found my real name and have completely stalked me that way, you saw that I have a spiny assassin bug in my garden. And easily I could have been look, could have went after that assassin bug and smashed it and crushed it and been like, you are the reason that my peppers are failing. But I didn't because I researched and found and knew that that bug only eats bugs. He only wants bugs. So he, the bug that was in his mouth was the one that was eating my plants. Well, so that's all, that's my takeaway from this whole experience. I'm G. Sean Maverick. Edit ruthlessly. See you later.